Yay's Grandia 2! Let's go ahead and interact with the innkeeper! Yes, this is Vix! Uh, he's a retired Geohound, cause he's... Well, I guess he's old age enough to be retired. But he did work with Vito some time ago. But now, he's retired and now uh, is the manager of an inn. <laughs> we wouldn't have to keep Edling in here like hens on omelette day. <laughs> Anyways, he notices Elena. Yeah, this guy's on the barrel right there. <laughs> and it's work, don't ask. Uh oh. What the hell is with my. I'm going to have to fix that. Anyways, the blonde boy there is my all time favorite video game character. Rowan, who apparently had something, uh, a medal of some sort stolen from him. And yes, that is a flute sticking out of his backpack, not an axe. Anyways, green haired guys, Gonzola, Big Dumbass, there's Risotto, Creepy McGee on the far left is Carpaccio, and. What's her face uh, there is Paella. Yeah, they're based on foods. Gonzola's like a. Uh, Based on Gorgonzola. God dang it. <laughs> I love the pause button. What the hell was with my. Mm, I gotta. There we go. Something was driving my toe nuts. Ow. There we go. Ugh. At least I have a pause button. Alright, there we go. Oh no, oh, now I just remember we're coming up on a voice bit. <laughs> yeah! Ooh, a wealthy runaway. Anyways, I'm gonna shut off the microphone since we have a voice bit. I beg you again, is the answer still no? When I say no, I mean no. We're born with so much luck, kid. Personally, I'm saving mine for retirement. Yeah, uh -huh. retirement. What the boss says is right. Uh, right, Paella? That's right. Bravery's not the same as bravado, right, Gonzola? Push your luck and you'll lose it all. Yeah, it's just like Paella says. <laughs> the odds are too stacked. We just ain't cut out for these high stakes gambles. Please help me! I beg of you! It... it's precious to me! You just don't understand how the world works. It ain't our job to be fighting in the first place. If you want some monsters, slain boy, why don't you go ask the Geo-Hound over there? Geo-Hound? Never heard of him. Please! A monster has stolen my precious metal! It was a memento of my mother. Will you help me get it back, please? I can pay you whatever you ask. <laughs> Sorry, I cannot spare the time. I'm already in the middle of one job. Ryudo, I think we should try- Aren't we in a hurry to get you to the cathedral? Sorry, kid, but you'd better give up on your medal. Do... do I have to? Oh, I guess so. Aw, poor Rowan gets blown off by Ryudo, and now he's gonna go mope in a corner. He's just gonna go mope. Poor Rowan. Elena really wants to help the kid out. <laughs> he was like, no, he's all I already got too much on my plate right now. <laughs> Eat these and relax. Cuckoo berries. Oh, God. And then, Elena proceeds to start binging on them. Anyways, uh, this dialogue box is automatic. And yeah, she is mass binging on those berries. <laughs> I mean, look at that, she's stuffing her face with them. <laughs> if I weren't saddled with them. Yeah, if Reno didn't have to deal with Elena, he could deal with those monsters. Uh-oh. <laughs> She is a 
wasted off her ass. <laughs> Bog! Yeah, Elena's wasted off her ass. Yeah, Kugelberries causes intoxication. <laughs> Fun fact, there, there are actually a battle item in the next town that you can buy. That you can only buy in the next town, actually. She had enough Kugelberries to kill the Pope. Uh, hey, with her out cold, maybe we can do things. Yeah, uh, Rhea is gonna go, gonna see about dealing with the monsters with, with Miss Princess Fussy Butt wasted and off her ass and conked out. Rhea does not get ten shits about Rowan. Uh oh, someone's found us. Hello? Alright, where. Uh oh! Oh god, it's Millennia again! Yep, she's back! <laughs> uh, okay, yep, she's back. Anyway, she's gonna paralyze Ryudo. And Sky's like, What are you doing? And she locks him out, too. Uh, oh, please, no, no, we don't need it. Oh. Hey, Rowan's run off to get those stupid metal back on his own. Rowan's run off on to get his metal back on his own. This guy almost plops to the floor. Yeah, that doesn't go well. That's not go well. Uh, anyways, he's following us. Um, why is Millennia following us? Anyways, if you interact with the door Elena's in. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, Helena's wasted. Anyways, once you come back out to the main area, yeah, Rowan's run off to get his metal back on his own. <laughs> oh, that, that toe is actually, yeah, that's another typo right there. They're all mopey because Rowan ran off to pretty much commit suicide. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. <sighs> uh, yeah. So anyways, looks like we're gonna have to deal with those monsters. You circus freaks just sit, uh, sit back, cause leave the murdering to Rito. And I guess Millennia, and she's pretty powerful with magic. <laughs> as, she, as the whole mess she did with Carbo. Oh, and, and that unwinnable fight with against her. <laughs> Fried chicken. <laughs> Obligatory Rito face palm. <laughs> Uh, Emily wants to turn Sky into fried chicken. <laughs> uh, actually, fun fact! Millennia is actually actively part of our party now! And she starts with two attacks as opposed to everyone else's one. She starts with her obvious cancel attack and her answer to Elena's white apocalypse, Fallen Wings. That is why I saved all those skill points! Because I'm going to take it up to level 3. And that is Heal Crush. Which uh, doesn't do as much damage, but it lowers uh, all four battle stats by one on a single foe. Oh, and we also have our second me uh, meta egg. Uh, there's Heal. There's Burn. There's Howl. Um, yes, Zap. Uh, starts with Snooze by default. And Stram. Uh, note to self, do not open up the wind spell, uh, how, uh, how trio of spells on the chaos egg. 
Uh, don't care. Um, that's what gear she starts with. Yeah, we got our second mana egg, the chaos egg. Yeah, that's her gear. And yes, her weapon of choice is a crossbow. Uh, Millennia is actually the best mage in the game. Her magic stat is the best out of everybody so far. And yeah, since Elena got de-equipped, Elena actually got de-equipped of her accessory and, uh, mana egg. Yeah, I didn't get the snake earrings. Rip. I may have to buy an accessory that she can use that's better than what she's got. Uh, yeah, the rune necklace is actually pretty good. So yeah, Rita's gonna babysit Elena's mana egg. Anyways, if you talk to Paella, uh, her and Millennia will get into a pissing contest with each other. Uh, that's because he's a little blonde dumbass. Maybe because he's a blonde. Anyways, yeah, if you talk to Paella, uh, uh, sometimes uh, her and Millennia will get into a pissing contest with each other. <laughs> I actually don't know what age Paella is. Um, probably at least an adult. <laughs> Unless she's at least an adult, since Millennia like calls her like old hag and whatnot. Whoa, 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 yeah, yeah. As much as, like, you mess you did with Carbo, uh, not appropriate here, Millennia. She definitely has a thing for Ryu, though, though, Millennia. Yeah, I want to say she's, like, at maybe in her 30s or 40s, maybe. All I know is, uh, the foursome there are minstrels. They're traveling band of performers slash circus performers, uh... Yeah, yeah, I... Okay, yeah, that that's it. Uh, that's it for talking to Paella. Okay, I don't have to do any shopping. Uh, this is open now because... Ugh, Rowan went all dumbass and wanted to get his medal back. Uh, yeah. Anyways, we gotta go into that dumb cave. Um, yeah, you can interact with... Uh, yeah, the chair falls over. Um, there's a bird. Oh, wow, crate issues, damn. Uh, I'm just seeing what else we can interact here. God. Bad rendering issues galore with this. Yeah, his chairs fall over. Stone block falls over. There's some birds. Where the hell's the cave? Oh, I think. Oh, I think it's over here actually. Okay, town's blocked off. There's the cave. There are at least one, two. Oh, uh, we're gonna get introduced to a bunch of forced fights in. And yes. Um, no DC had a bad graphic glitch with the torches. Torches and water do not mix on no DC. I don't have to deal with that. That bugged me on no DC. Yeah, that bugged me on no DC. Look at that water. <laughs> um. Do I want to save over the Enor Mountain save, or do I want to wait? Uh, no. I'm gonna make another save. Cause I can just delete all that afterwards. Anyways, uh, once you come to here... Once you come to here, you get introduced to... That little guy! Now, it would be different had I not gotten that Poth Nut from Lenny and Carbo. Anyways, this little dude is the mascot of Grandia 2. The Caro. Anyways, uh, yeah, if you interact with him... Yeah, Caro, Caro will find Poth Nut. Anyways, we got a firebomb. Sorry, little guy, I have no more Poth Nuts for you. But yeah, if you had not gotten the Poth Nut uh, uh, from Lenny and Carbo, Carol would actually run away, and you have to pick up Poff Nuts later on to interact with Carol. Anyways, uh, let's get rid of this um, thing, and we have snakes! 
More snakes! Ugh! I hate snakes. Oh! God damn it. Uh, yeah, Millennia! Uh, they're both attacking Ryudo. Um, I guess I'll go ahead and melee. Fuck! Oh wow, I just one turned the snake with both of them. I can just melee the snakes since I have that purity sword. Fuck, bonk! <laughs> Yep, uh, she range attacks. She she attacks from a bit of a distance with her crossbow. Anyways, I think I'm gonna save magic coins since the holy egg doesn't really need any attention anymore. I wanna get I need 120 for zap, and I wanna get it up as much as I can. Anyways, that firebomb's like somewhat of a damaging battle item. Anyways, we got a medicinal herb. I'm gonna go ahead and do this. This is force fight number four. A disgusting four pack of crag snake, which I am going to use snooze. Or do I want to just um, destroy them with fallen wings? Yeah, we'll screw it, we'll show fallen wings. And I'm gonna try and put these poo heads to sleep before they get the damage going. How about this? And yes, Millennia like Elena, and she uses magic, uh, part, part of her model, model disappears. Nice, three, three out of four put to sleep. Anyway, here's the mighty fallen wings. This is my way of thanking you. Uh, yeah, hers has a unique animation. She gets a little anime treatment for uh uh for the scale. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, fallen wing. All millennia stuff is magic based. So you definitely, if you get a chance, boost your magic as much as possible. Although I think arrow shots like strength based too. Anyways, yeah, that's force fight number four, which is a four uh, a four pack of crag snakes. Um, I'm I'm gonna save uh skill points to get Ryudo's flying ten taken. Anyways, I want to get Zap up to level two. Do we have any new stuff? We have we have oh uh, we got runner and uh, that is freeze. It actually lowers uh, all enemy movement by one. It's tight uh, that and. This spell right here typoed in everything but the PS2 port. That was the only one that was corrected in the- the only correction was the PS2 port. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and flip, interact with the Switch. Uh, it'll swap the- that. It'll swap that. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and hit up the save point and heal up. Yeah, that was forced fight number four, uh... Sorry, little guy, I don't have any pop nuts for you right now. I, I will get some more for you later. Anyways, uh, we're gonna go ahead and go this way. Um, there's a second medicinal herb here. There's an item behind these crates here, uh, a Yomi's Elixir. Anyways, we need to shove this little slopey rock off. There we go. And, and then we have to flip the water switch again. But, uh, yeah. There is a little quirk with Millennia in combat, but it hasn't shown itself yet. Uh, it'll show itself in combat soon, at some point. It will show itself. Yeah, that's force fight number four. It's the, the four pack of crack snakes here. Okay, we can now cross this way now. Anyways, bag of money, 100 gold, yeah, we now have an increase of bags and boxes of money. Uh, forced fights number 5 and 6. I got back attacked, didn't I? No. Uh, forced fight number 5 and 6 is two sets of these guys. Uh, the third one's entirely optional. Anyways, enemy-wise, we have Frost Frog. They have 460 HP on hard mode. They have 50% ice resistance. They do ice... Their melees are ice-based and... Uh, they're weak to fire. The cone drops, the eye drops, which removes the sleep status, and their rare is a toad oil, which, uh, uh, is a battle, uh, battle only healing item. Okay, you're attacking Millennia. I'm going to get rid of you. How about this? Yeah, toad oil, uh, it, you can only use it in battle, but it restores 300 HP and gives that person plus two to their defense. Um, uh, -huh. Oh, is that the one attacking Millennia I got put to sleep? Yeah, it was. 
Anyway, there's the burn spell. Even at a measly level 2, she one shots the frog. And they're ugly as hell! Um, I think I'm just gonna melee the frog. Um. Oh, we'll see. Eh! Oh, it doesn't show, it'll show itself. That quirk with her will show itself. But yeah, you gotta fight two, two out of the three of these to get, uh, progression. Okay, I need to escape real quick, and it wasn't the one I wanted to kill. Well, I'm gonna kill them all anyways. Uh, we have our second pop nut, which I'll turn it into the carol off screen, and a sleep charm, which just blocks the sleep status, woo. Huh. I got no I got unlucky and wound up killing the frog I the the first frog I killed was one I didn't want to do first. Um uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and just do a ten second slash on that frog. Is it just me or is it a little warm? Uh yeah, I think I have enough time to do that one thing. Anyways, this frog is gonna get cancelled. Bonk! Ew. With that much HP, I think I'm gonna have Millennia do a crit attack. I'm gonna have her do a crit attack, since you have a measly... Bonk! That was beautiful. If an enemy has, like, puny HP and it's on Millennia's turn, have her do a crit attack so she doesn't really miss with her combos. Okay, what was that one? That- that gave me the way to go. But I have to kill this frog to get our way back. Okay, you're just gonna melee Ryudo. I'll get rid of the one attacking Millennia. And I'll just burn this one. Ooh, hey, how does that feel? Those frogs are disgusting. Can slash. And... Dead frogs. Yeah, two out of the three, you have to fight to not only get progression, but to get out of the dungeon. Because, yeah, I'm just going to say this right now, you have to manually walk out of the dungeon. Anyways, uh, we're in the second area, and oh! Huh, there's the little blonde dumbass. And this is forced fight number seven, and Millennia, no, the blonde boy's not the monster. What's trying to kill him is monsters. Now, I always get this dumb floor glitch when I'm null DC. Anyways, freaking Troglodytes! That is force fight number seven. They have 1127 HP on uh, hard mode, 40% uh, ice, resist ice resistance, weak to fire. They have sleep spawn, which have a really high chance to put you to sleep. The only drop I know of can be a whirlwind scroll. And I'm going to put these guys to sleep, because you can put them to sleep or and or inflict move block on them. Sleep. Have you seen level 3 fallen wings? It's gonna wipe these guys like immediately. I only got one put to sleep? Damn. So they're all dead now. They're all dead now. <laughs> Cause then you see what I did with those snakes, uh. See what I did with those snakes, it's gonna wipe these guys immediately. Yeah, it just slaughters them. I think even a- yeah! Ooh, we got a mana egg! There's our third mana egg. The mist egg, which is water, wind, and ice. Ooh, I think I can take Zap up to level 3. Anyways, yeah, we saved Rowan from being murdered by monsters. Anyways, Rito just doesn't give a shit and wants him to be on his way. <laughs> and, yeah, Millennia. Yeah, everyone really wants his medal back. <laughs> Apparently, Blonde Boy is going to be stubborn. <laughs> this is the last thing his late mother left to him. Yeah, poor Rowan. 
and <laughs> he's serious and tries and horribly fails to beat up on Ryudo. Anyways, here comes Millennia, and she just attacks him like that. <sighs> She's taking a liking to the little guy. <laughs> And that adorable face. I want to hug him. <laughs> I want to hug him! Uh, God dang it! Stupid loose strands of hair! I don't want any part of this! And yes, I hear more frogs. I I may just off screen killing them. Actually, no, I can't. She is. You are. Well, she. Yeah, her defenses are. Her, her defenses are shit. But. Weak and frail? You can just use your magic to, like. Defend yourself. Anyways, I'm going to look away because what Millennia is doing is not register, not work safe, and yeah, obligatory read off face palm. <laughs> Don't forget to feed him and change his litter twice a day. Anyways, oh wow, uh, yeah, only for now. Rito's gonna boot your ass out if you do anything stupid. Anyways, fun fact, he's actually part of our party now. Anyways, this is what he comes with. This is also why I bought the extra chain mail and the leather bandana. And I'm gonna trade that silver bracelet for the crystal brooch and... And I guess, give you the silver bracelet, because I don't have any better defense for you. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna have you to babysit the mist egg and have Rowan have the holy egg. Anyways, uh, I might as well show his moves. Um, obvious cancel attack right there, Golden Hammer. That is Dragon Rise. I want to open that up after I get Ryudo's Flying Tenseiken. That is Snowball Fight, uh, which is um, ice based magic damage to a small group of foes. And that is Vitality March, which removes all status ailments except dead to the entire from the entire party. Um, Mr. Egg, uh, yeah, has heal, has howl, runner, digging, death loss. I, I want to get zap up. Oh, I need 180. Damn. Um, huh. What should I do? What should I do? Do I want to get zap up, up to level 3? No, I'm gonna take Hal up to level 3. Uh, we now have Shush and, uh, Cure. Why the hell is it on that? I'm gonna get a, a couple levels into Runner. I may just have Rito do some Runner shenanigans. Um, actually, I'm going to stop it here and off screen, going back to heal at the save point and turn in that second pop nut. And meet you right back here after I do stuff. <laughs>